Hey Scorpio. Welcome to Intuitive Gems. My name is Desiree and I'm going to be doing your Money, Wealth, Finance, Prosperity, Abundance reading for the month of April 2020. If this is your first time catching one of my videos, I do want to say welcome and I invite you to subscribe because I do these readings each and every month and I'd love to share your money message with you. Uh, for the readings this month, I will be using my Morgan Greer tarot deck. For clarifiers, I will use my Radiant Rider Weight tarot deck. And then, Scorpio, I will end your reading with a Chakra Oracle card. Okay, Scorpio, let's go ahead and get right into it. I'm already feeling like, um, Scorpio, you're ready for a, a big change. And I have a feeling that um, with the way things are going right now, you know, with everyone kind of having to kind of take a step back because we're all stuck in the house, um, I'm feeling like there's going to be a, a really big opportunity for you, Scorpio. Now, I know a lot of you have been with me for a while, so you know the drill. But in case you don't, uh, I do read jumper cards, which means sometimes as I shuffle the deck, you will see cards uh, literally fly out or you will see them flip over. Those are the cards that I choose to read because I believe they're trying to communicate something specific. So I do pay attention to that. All right. So what do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance? For the month of April 2020. Nice, Scorpio. <clears throat> okay. All right. So the Virgo in me wants to make sure that these cards are not cut off. Okay. All right, Scorpio. So I can tell that uh, you're really, now this applies to both men and women, but uh, there's a lot of masculine energy surrounding you as we move into the new month of April. And I say that because we have quite a few um, male image cards here. We have the Emperor, King of Rods in reverse, and we have the Chariot. We also have the Three of Wands, Four of Swords, Queen of Swords. Now, I say that because that's kind of the first thing that hit me when these cards started flying out, was that um, you're really going to be in your masculine energy. And this, like I said, applies to both men and women. Now, the masculine energy is all about getting things done, okay? And sometimes, when we're in our masculine energy, uh, sometimes we kind of disconnect from that um, emotional, nurturing side, and I say that because I see the Queen of Swords here. Now, sometimes the Queen of Swords, uh, she can be very, um, how should I say? I don't want to say mean, but she's very much um, emotionless, right? She doesn't show her feelings because she's ready to cut something off for any reason at any time. And I feel like you're going to be going through that this first week of April, Scorpio. The Emperor in Reverse means that... Um, there's just something that you're kind of pushing against. Um, I do want to say that I feel like it's it's kind of like you're 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 in resistance to something, and it could be the situation, the circumstances that we're all being forced into right now, or it could be something again as it relates to your work and your money. It's like you're feeling like you have to kind of really just kind of hustle and grind because you're going against the flow in some way. You're going against the system in some way. And it's very, very much pushing you into that masculine energy. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. We all have times where our energy shifts and flows and um, we kind of, you know, do the dance where we're in, in the masculine, in the feminine. But for you, Scorpio, uh, you're really, you're really in that grind mindset. We also have the King of Rods here. The King of Rods, 
or I should say the King of Wands is what <laughs> I'm more comfortable with. But the King of Wands, um, this is all about authority in the workplace, okay? Now, I don't know if this is you. It depends on your situation and your circumstances. But authority in the workplace, uh, there's something that's, that's not jiving too well, okay? There's something where uh, things are just not harmonizing together, um, you know, and... If you don't have a job or if you have a business or you're self-employed, um, this still applies because it just means that there's kind of something that's disconnected in your work environment. There's something that's just not jiving. Okay, so it could be uh, maybe you're butting heads with the client. Uh, maybe you're butting heads with somebody, you know, a colleague or somebody that you work with or uh, things are just kind of uh, very, very tense. Now, the good thing even though, you know, the month of April is starting out with this, like I said, very strong masculine energy. As we move through the first week of April, look what shows up. We've got the chariot. Now, the chariot is all about things moving very, very quickly. It's also about uh, you taking charge and you taking action and then that action paying off. Okay, so even though things are going to feel a little, you know, like you're, you're really, really working, uh, and you're really, really maybe even forcing some things, just know that as you move through the week and as you move through the month, things are going to start happening for you in a quick way, and the action that you're taking is going to benefit you, okay? Now, you also have the Three of Wands here, the Three of Wands. This is about contemplation, long-term contemplation, long-term visioning. Uh, you're really starting to kind of see uh, how things are going with your career. You may be reconsidering some things. You may be uh, deciding to kind of take action or maybe not take action. Okay, but you are going to be really starting to kind of refocus and reevaluate what it is you're doing professionally. You know, what exactly are you doing as far as uh, sources of income, work that brings you fulfillment, uh, something that allows you to support your family and support yourself in a way that brings you joy and something that you're passionate about. You're starting to question all these things as it relates to your income and to your work. Now, we also have the Four of Swords here. The Four of Swords is all about uh, sometimes meditation, sometimes um, stepping back and kind of withdrawing temporarily just so you can gather your thoughts and gather your feelings together and make some decisions and, you know, decide what exactly it is that you need to do and what you don't need to do. Again, because I see the Queen of Swords here, sometimes she has a very masculine energy about her because she can be so ruthless. Uh, she can cut someone off and, and not think twice. And I'm feeling like you're kind of going in to that um, season of your life, Scorpio, where you're ready to say no to something. You're ready to disconnect from things that are just not serving you and from, you know, from things that are just wasting your time and things that are uh, just not profitable. You know, you just don't have the time nor the energy to waste on something that's not going to pay off. Okay. So what else do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance for the month of April 2020? What do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio? Okay, cards are flying. Okay, I think I need one more card for Scorpio, please. All right, Scorpio, get ready. <laughs> Uh, things are definitely going to be happening quickly. I do see a lot of speed. No time is being wasted. Uh, we do have Ace of Cups Reverse, Hangman Reverse, High Priestess, Eight of Wands, uh, Eight of Swords, and the Nine of Pentacles all in the upright position. This is very, very good. Ace of Cups, um, you know, there's going to be some relationships that... 
I don't want to say they're going to dissolve, but they're going to be redefined. Okay. Now this could be working relationships. It could also mean something personal. But as we move into that second week of April, there's a relationship that's going to change. Now this could be a love romantic relationship, or it could be a work professional relationship, but the dynamics of the relationship are definitely going to change. Um, it could be for the better. It could be for the worse, depending on the circumstances and depending on how you define it and, and depending on what you want, Scorpio, because you're actually going to be the one who's making the change. You know, maybe it's something that's, uh, you're going from personal to strictly professional. Maybe you're going from professional to a little bit more personal. Um, it could also be where maybe it's someone you choose not to associate with as much. Or maybe someone you choose to associate with more. Just know that there's going to be some changes in a relationship for you. And I'm feeling very strongly that this is a professional relationship as we move into that second week of April. Now, we also have the hangman here. So uh, you may have had feelings where you were feeling stuck or just didn't know what to do. You're going to get a little bit more clarity as we move into the second week of April. Uh, the hangman is all about being stuck. However, when he shows up reverse, it means those stuck feelings are going away because you're starting to get clarity. You're starting to get more information and you can process the information and make de better decisions. Now, we also have the high priestess. Uh, you're going to be relying on your own intuitive nature, your own intuitive intuitive gifts. Scorpio, um, you are someone who already kind of has a good handle on his or her own spirituality. And sometimes your spirituality can play a role in your work. Meaning, um, if you're not maybe like a spiritual entrepreneur, um, you may use your own feelings of intuition or um, working with angels, ancestors, whatever it may be, in order to help you and support you in your professional life. You know, and this is actually a very good thing. I wish more people would use their in intuitive nature and their intuitive abilities when it comes to work, because I think um, it would give you a little bit more of an edge. And it also, um, it allows you to make better decisions and it allows you to be more discerning as far as who you work with, where you work, and what exactly you do. Now we have the Eight of Wands here. This is a card all about speed. And it fell on the other card that's all about speed, which is the Chariot. Something's going to happen and it's going to happen fast. And I do feel like this is something going to be positive because you're going to have to make a decision very quickly because the ball is going to start rolling very, very soon. And I think it's going to be something in relation to you making decisions for your future. Um, also, it could be you making a decision about a new opportunity where they say, hey, can you start tomorrow <laughs> or, you know, or can you move today? Uh, whatever the case may be, it's going to be something that moves quick and you're going to have to act quick as well. Now we have the Eight of Swords here. The Eight of Swords is all about self-imposed limitations. Be very careful with that, Scorpio. You know, um, when you th think that you can't do something, is that really the case? Or is that your perception of the situation? Self-imposed limitations can hold us back from a lot of things. Uh, you just have to work through that. And you really have to examine the situation from all angles and from all perspectives and really, really maybe get some, um, get some, uh, you know, maybe some input from someone you trust and say, hey, am I interpreting this situation correctly? Especially when it comes to work and money, okay? Because uh, sometimes we have our own blocks and so we can't see the situation for what it is. So just make sure you are not falling into that trap of feeling like you have uh, limitations because in reality, you don't. Now we also have the Nine of Pentacles. This is one of my most favorite cards in the deck. This card is a prosperity card through and through. Money, opportunity, finances are definitely coming your way. And it's going to be more than you expect, which is the good thing. She shows up in the upright position, which means that you definitely have uh, things coming your way as it relates to money and income, cash flow. And when she shows up upright, uh, that means there's just more than enough. There's overflow. There's increase. There's abundance. And you're definitely definitely in line to receive that, Scorpio. Probably around that second week of April. 
All right, so what else do we need to know for the sign of Scorpio as it relates to money, wealth, finances? Okay. Prosperity and abundance for the month of April 2020. Okay, uh, as you saw, Scorpio, when I wanted to clarify, I didn't get too much shuffling in because cards were coming out. Okay. So, now, as we move into the second week of April, Scorpio, just know that uh, you're going to have a limit on some of the resources. And I don't even want to say a lack of resources, but on some ways, you're just not going to have what you need. But that's through no fault of your own. The magician is all about taking what he has and then creating what he wants to create. But when he shows up in the reverse, that means that you're not going to have access to everything you need. Now, this is only temporary. This is not something that's long term. But again, considering the circumstances that we're in, uh, this totally makes sense. So just trust that uh, you may not have everything you need when you need it, but it doesn't mean that that's going to last forever. Now, we have the Five of Cups here. Uh, you may have regretted making a decision earlier in the month, but uh, that actually turns out to be a very good decision, <laughs> to your surprise, as we move into the second week of April, or the second half of April. The Five of Cups is all about, uh, you know, feeling uh, regret, sometimes uh, thinking that you made the wrong decision, and you may feel that. However, when we move into that second week of April, you're going to see that that decision actually was very beneficial for you. So just, you know, don't worry about it. Uh, just kind of see, you know, it's, it's one of those things where you have to play a wait and see game. Seven of Pentacles means there is work coming your way. However, you may not necessarily be ready for it. Uh, there's going to be an influx of work for you, an influx of opportunity. Uh, also, you may find that you have way more work than you can handle at this time. And it's a little bit overwhelming. And because it is overwhelming, sometimes you feel like you just want to check out. <laughs> now, that's not a bad thing, but you just have to know what you can handle and what you can't. And you just have to kind of discern uh, where you feel comfortable. But just know there's going to be no shortage of opportunities and no shortage of uh, money uh, coming to you if you are willing and available to work for it. Now, we have the judgment card here in the reverse. This is a decision that is made that affects you indirectly, okay? Uh, the judgment card, when he shows up in the reverse position, that means somebody made a decision. And it's not a decision that was directly about you or for you, but it does affect you in some way. And it probably affects you in a way that you were probably not expecting. You know, this can be good. It, it can also be something that's not so good, depending on what it is. But just know that uh, whatever happens or whatever decisions are being made, they're not being made uh, directly at you. These are decisions that are being made and you are just being affected by them indirectly. Now, we also have the Six of Swords and then we have the Knight of Swords. Six of Swords means that there's going to be a, a slowdown or a complete stop of travel, movement, uh, relocations. Um, and, you know, like I said, considering what we're going through right now, this is not so surprising. Also, the Knight of Swords, that means things are slowing down. You know, the energy of work is slowing down, but that doesn't mean the volume of work is slowing down, okay? They're two very different things. Just know that um, you're probably going to be in some uh, situations where you're thinking, uh, things are not moving, but just trust that you may not be able to see everything, but just trust that things are still moving. So what else do we need to know? Okay. For the sign of Scorpio, as it relates to money, wealth, finances, prosperity, and abundance, for the month of April 2020. Okay. Now you saw I almost didn't pick up those cards, but I said, no, I feel <laughs> like those are the cards I need to read. And you know what? It's beautiful. It's beautiful, Scorpio. As we move towards the end of April, one of the most positive cards in the deck, the Ten of Cups in the upright position. This is the ultimate joy, happiness, fulfillment card. Um, things are definitely going to be turning in your favor as April closes out. 
there's going to be unexpected uh, positive things happening. Uh, there, There's also going to be some things that you're just like, oh my God, this is unbelievable, uh, but it's really happening. It's really true. So that's a really good thing that you can wait, that you don't have to wait to experience. Um, but the good thing is, is that uh, this is not anything that you, quote, have to do in order to make it happen. This is just what's going on uh, energetically throughout the month. And it's exciting because I also see the strength card here. So this means that things definitely are working in your favor. And you may not feel like it is, but let me tell you, it is. Oh, we have the Four of Pentacles here, another positive card. Now, this card is very positive when it's in the reverse, okay? Because this is the opposite of being uh, a tight wad or having to be, you know, overly concerned with every penny. Uh, not that you shouldn't be paying attention to your money, but you're going to be able to feel a little bit more relaxed as we move towards the end of April. Uh, could be unexpected things happen that give you more money than you thought you were going to have, which is very possible because we have the Ten of Cups here. Or it could just be that, um, you know, you get more work. And so you're getting a lot more clients, a lot more cash flow, a lot more revenue than you had anticipated. And it makes you feel very, very comfortable. And that's a good thing. Now, we also have the Strength card here, which means you are going to continue to diligently work. You are not someone who just kind of sits back and lets things happen. You are being very proactive. You're on the hustle, you're on the grind, and it's going to pay off. There's no slowing you down, Scorpio. You have the energy and the stamina you need to keep going. Now, we also have the King of Pentacles here. The King of Pentacles is someone who is all, all about, uh, usually it's about financial literacy. When he shows up in the reverse, that means you have to be very, very careful um, as far as how you're delegating your money and how you're delegating your spending. Um, sometimes when he shows up reverse, you also have to pay attention uh, to who is handling your money. So if you do have an accountant or, um, you know, maybe a, an advisor or something like that, um, really be careful with who that person is or who you allow to have access to your money. Um, now, this is not only for people who have business, but also uh, for those of us who are working too. You know, be very, very careful and be very, very uh, discerning as far as who you allow to uh, give you financial advice. Make sure you really kind of research the person's background and make sure they are qualified to tell you what to do with your money. Um, also too, maybe it's time for you to kind of up your financial literacy and take some classes, read books, watch videos, that type of thing. Just be very, very, uh, like I said, diligent when it comes to your own money and financial education. Finally, we have the Four of Swords here, the Four of Swords. We saw him earlier up here. This is a period of retreat, withdrawal. Sometimes it's all about just going within, kind of uh, re-examining who we are spiritually, professionally, uh, mentally, emotionally, uh, really taking a step back to kind of uh, do the inner work, maybe heal some emotional traumas, whatever it is that we need to do. But um, you're really gonna go through a period of self-reflection as we close out the month of April. And I think this is something very powerful for you, Scorpio, because um, you kind of, you're someone who kind of redefines who they are as the seasons change. And it doesn't mean that you're becoming drastically different in one way, shape, or form, but you're just constantly uh, cultivating uh, different parts of your personality and different parts of your character. And so I think you're going to be going through a season of that uh, probably throughout April, but you're really going to feel it most strongly the beginning and the end of April 2020. So overall, Scorpio, you've got a really solid month here. You've got a lot of good things coming your way. Things are moving quickly. Um, you're going to re really feel like things are on a grind at the beginning of the month. You're going to see some uh, relationships shift and kind of re-evolve. But uh, overall, like I said, you've got a really solid month. Uh, April's going to be good for you, Scorpio. Okay. So let's go ahead and close out your reading with a chakra oracle card. And as you saw, what came up? The crown chakra. 
So that may be something that you want to pay attention to as we move through April. And I think that just kind of reaffirms what I was talking about, about you going within, kind of reevaluating who you are, what you're doing, and why you're doing it. I think April is going to be a very strong month of self-discovery for you, Scorpio. All right. I hope you enjoyed this reading. I hope it was helpful. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, observations, feel free to drop them down below. And if you'd like a personal private reading, I will have that linked in the description as well. All right, Scorpio, thank you so much for spending this time with me. I will see you again next month.